tricky one. They've been, been tricky. Ghastly, but they? people have stood. <laughs> they both do sound unpleasant and sticky. Ruby Red Eight says skydiving to jelly because let's say you didn't skydive properly and you didn't have a parachute or a person on your back, you could fall down and bounce off the jelly like a trampoline. That does sound kind of fun. Um, from Happy Dance to Thirteen, yeah. jelly is super delicious, so I chose that one. So I think Darren, with this one, it's been more about do you like jelly or custard rather than the bungee jumping or skydiving. Yeah, I'm more jelly myself. I'd always go with jelly over custard. It's made of who? I you? agree. I agree with the jelly. But let's hear what the custard people have to say. <laughs> Green Adorable Tortoise says bungee jumping and skydiving sounds scary, and I don't like jelly that much. Uh, and from Gerbil Fan, I'd rather bungee jump into custard. I like the bungee jumping part, but not the custard part. I don't like either skydiving or jelly. So that's more of what one they hate less. Yeah. <laughs> You know, which is the way to answer some questions. Uh, now, but, Darren, yeah. have you got a new question for us for this week? Hmm. Oh, I have indeed. OK, I hope you're ready for this one. Yeah. Right. Would you rather travel to any place that you wanted or buy any gadget that you wanted? Easy. Mm. It's a tough one, that. Yeah. Easy. Tough. Travel to any place. Easy. Gadget. Easy. This one, gadget. gadget. You can choose a gadget over traveling the world. Yeah, of course it would. What do you what? think, Darren? Gadget! Yeah, I'd probably go gadget and get a plane. Yeah. Get a plane and travel Wait, around. Hold up, gadget. man, because a plane could cost us a vehicle, not a gadget. There's always a loophole, We Reece. need to go into details, but we'll always do that. a loophole. <laughs> Thank you, Darren. We can't wait to see Brandy Wood Rubber very, very soon. So take care. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, Darren. Guys. But now yeah. it's time for the Bye. quality part of the link, oh. where I will give you my review of the week. Reese, I know you're looking forward to this. No, I'm not. So my particular highlight of this week oh. is from this moment <laughs> in Got What It Takes. Oh. Oh. I didn't actually notice Ray. When I saw Ray, I was so shocked and happy. Uh. When I saw Ray coming down the steps, I thought she can't walk on this grass with those high heels on, but she did. And all it did was aerate the grass and resulted in better growth. So then she skipped around the flower beds for the next four hours and we all had a right laugh. I'm still laughing. Oh, God. <laughs> Reese. That was That's a beautiful not, story. That is not what it happened. Is what happened. And their voice is not high pitched, Jordy. I'm pretty it, sure. They're always that. high pitched, Jordy. Literally, please. why do you keep doing this? And what do you know about music commenting on Got What It Takes like that? Reese. What? I'm Mr. R&B. Yes, As if. And I'm going to have written you a little song. Play the music, please. What? Listen to this, Reese. I went down to Reese's little old house and I popped in the kitchen. Now I saw a little mouse, so I stepped on its spine and I looked in its face. All right, I said that. Thank he you. His Thank little you. eyes out. Thank you. It was weeping. Those spines were actually stepped on. <laughs> you need to work on your lyric writing, my friend. That is some dark stuff. Do you even know what R&B is? What is wrong with you? I don't care. What is wrong with you? If you want to see a show that really knows about what R&B is and see what the actual scene was, head up to the iPlayer where you can find the episode of Got What It Takes if you've missed it or you want to catch up. You, what? sir, what? are a disgrace. Go off and learn what R&B is. Reese, I'm get, off. Get out of here. I'm going Go. back to yours. I've seen a mess in your Go, kitchen. you've gone too far. Leave. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And uh, listen, it's time now to watch the main man Darren do his thing, asking some wild questions. It's time for brand new. It's Would You Rather? <laughs> stole my moment. I'm back again. He stole my moment. Would you rather? Get out of here. What? Get out of here. Would you rather? I absolutely love sneezing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is that joke? <laughs> Would you rather? It's gonna be close. Let's hear from my crew. I can put it in the blender, perhaps with some chocolate. Yes! Well done, Rosie! Oh, oh adorable! Oh. Hello, I'm Darren Harrier, and welcome to Would You Rather, where we've got some big and bamboozling choices to make. Well, I say we, I actually mean this lot. The question is, can our guests work out what's going on in their minds? Let's find out. Joining me today from the Dog Ate My Homework and Capital Radio, it's Lauren Layfield! Ah, Darren! Hiya! And simply a TV legend. Yes, it's Hacker T-Dog! Well, hey, you all right, Darren? And here they are, when it didn't always go to plan. Oh, you make a nice cat, what with your antlers. Now, listen here. Send more in. What are you having for dinner today, Hex? Goose. <laughs> <laughs> Geese. <laughs> right after top class, on not I know. <laughs> <laughs> And 
And of course, making all those big decisions, it's my very own crew. Yeah, guys, take it away. Hi, I'm Asha and I'm from London. Hi, my name is Mark and I'm from Reading. Hi, I'm Mia from Glasgow. Hi, I'm Ben and I'm from Openshaw in Manchester. Hi, my name's Gia and I am from London. I'm Lucky and I'm from Auburn. I'm Sophie and I'm from Teesside. Hi, my name's Reese and I'm from London. Hi, my name's Starla and I'm from Bristol. Hi, I'm you and I'm from Glasgow. Hi, my name is Amari and I'm from London. Hi, my name's Indira and I'm from Pembrokeshire. Hi, my name is Maya and I'm from Chichester. I'm Summer and I'm from Derry. Hi, I'm Daniel and I'm from Doncaster. So, here's the deal. I'll be giving some weird and wonderful choices to make. All our guests have to do is predict how my crew will vote. Simple, right? So, Lauren, Hacker, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm feeling ready than I've re ever been readier before, Lauren. I'm dripping with readiness. <laughs> and today's first question is, would you rather step on a plug every time you got out of bed or bite your tongue every time you ate? Oh. So, Hacker, you ever stepped on a plug? Yes, I have. In fact, I've once stepped on a plug which caused me to bite my tongue. <laughs> oh. That's double pain. Ideal. Double pain. Would you rather step on a plug when getting out of bed or you bite your tongue every time you eat? Well, I'd rather step on a plug every time I get out of bed because I don't get out of bed as often as I eat. So that way, I'd be doing it less. So there. That's great logic from Hacker there. OK, uh, Lauren. I'm full of it, aren't I? Full of it, absolutely. Lauren, what about yourself? I, Darren, am quite a small person. I am no taller, really, than your average sort of year six, year seven, OK? But I do think my tongue is abnormally large for my body size. Do you want to see? I would yeah. love to see. Oh, that's oh. horrible. I would think I would rather I love eating. Do you know, I love eating, and I don't want to interrupt that, so I think I would probably take standing on the plug, even though it quite literally pains me to say it. <laughs> it literally pains you. <laughs> right, let's hear from my crew. I think we should. Yeah, Sophie, what would you rather? Oh, that one's a hard one. <laughs> I would rather step on a plug every time I went out bed just because I'd get my slippers on first, <laughs> and hopefully it won't hurt as much. <laughs> That's a loophole. OK, it's decision time. So, Lauren, how do you think my crew voted overall? You've heard from one member. How do you think my whole crew voted? I think they voted for they'd rather step on a plug every time they got out of bed. Hacker, what about yourself, buddy? I think most of them will have voted to stand on a plug, but I'm loathed to agree with Lauren. So I'm going to say most of them have chosen to bite their own tongue <laughs> just to make it interesting. <laughs> OK, I've locked in both their answers. The votes are in. And out of my 15 friends over there, four went for bite their tongue every time they ate, oh. but 11 said they would rather step on a plug every morning, which means, yes, yes well done, Lauren. Yes. Now, it's like being back on Mastermind. <laughs> I knew I was going to get that right, although it is weird that so many of them do want to actively step on a plug. Right, time for another question. Would you rather swim in a pool of melted chocolate or swim in a pool of strawberry ice cream? Uh, Hacker, um, are you a big swimmer? I am. I'm very good at the doggy paddle. Oh, fantastic there. Uh, do you like chocolate? No, I am a dog. It would kill me. <laughs> just checking, just checking. Do you like ice cream? I don't like ice cream, but ice cream would not kill me. <laughs> <laughs> so would you rather swim in a pool of strawberry ice cream? The question is, would you rather live or die? <laughs> My answer is, I would rather live. Therefore, I'd rather swim in ice cream. Hacker would rather live, so he would rather swim in a pool of strawberry ice cream. I think we can all, we can all understand that. Lauren, what about yourself? You know earthworms, when they travel through the soil, 
the soil goes through their mouth and like out the other end, I feel like I would be <laughs> like that with the chocolate if I was swimming through it. Like I'd sort of like swim and eat and swim and eat. And plop. <laughs> I'm going with chocolate. You're going with chocolate. Maya, what would you rather? Probably melted chocolate because it might be warm and it might feel like a hot tub. Thanks, Maya. It's decision time. So, Hacker, how do you think my crew voted? I think your crew will have voted for chocolate because chocolate to the average Joe is better than ice cream. Um, it's not my opinion, but I'm thinking tactically there. Oh. Chocolate, please. Tactically thinking, Hacker, going with chocolate. Your answer's locked in. Lauren, what about yourself? I think he's absolutely right. Who would not turn down the chance to have a little swim in chocolate? Lauren there also going with rather swim in a pool of melted chocolate. OK, let's go to the vote. And the results are five want to jump into that ice cream, but ten would rather swim in chocolate. Look at Yay! you guys. Do it. Well done, Lauren and Hacker. They know you guys. They know, they know you. We know them. Time now for the big question. And today, you might be wondering why I'm singing and dancing. I'm a walking and a prancing. Well, one, because I can. And two, take a look at this. The Big Friday wind-up and some uh, excellent singing. But while today's question is about singing, it's also about a bit of a boogie. Wish I could do that. And after all that, today's big question is, would you rather sing instead of speak or dance instead of war? Lauren, uh, what would you rather? OK. I am not known for my singing prowess. Me and Hacker, we've been and done karaoke many times together. Yes, we have. Um, I, I have indeed sung that song that you saw in the clip there on Big Friday Wind Up. It's one of my favourites, but I'm not great at it. I'm just struggling with the high notes. Um, and I feel like if I was to sing everything to you, I would be left with less friends. But what about if you're dancing when you walk? Are you going to not lose friends then? No, because I, pe I think people would think I was quite sort of like a friendly kind of fella. I've got quite moves like that. Look, that's it. That's quite yeah, good. Yeah. Bit of that. Not bad. I can do this. That's oh, quite good. There we go. Move. Um, you know, I think I've, I've kind of got it down when it comes to dancing. So I feel like people would be like, yeah, she's a, she's a happy chappy. Get her on board. Uh, Hacker, what about yourself, mate? Uh, are you a bit of a singer or are you a bit of a dancer? Well, would you believe that I am a professional singing animal? <laughs> I'm famous for my fantastic vocal range. So I would rather sing everything rather than speak. And I've got two left feet so I can't dance. Yeah. Amazing. How amazing was that? Truly. Thank you, Hacker. Oh, OK. Thank you very much. In case you didn't get me answer, the answer is I'd rather sing than speak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. We've heard from both my amazing guests. Uh, let's hear from my crew. Reese, what would you rather? I would sing instead of speak because It'd be fun, it'd be like my life was a giant opera. Just be singing to people. And like people could join in and be like, let's make a harmony. And we could make like a massive concert of my life. 
I want to be in that opera. <laughs> right. It's almost make up your mind time. But before you decide, uh, Lauren, what I'm willing to do is I'm willing to let you pick one of my crew uh, and you can find out how they voted. Just one. Oh, OK. I'm going to go for... I mean, everyone's got very fantastic opinions, but I'm going to go for Scarlett because I think she's got it going on. I think she's going to give me a little bit of something to help me decide. Great choice. Scarlett, you've got it going on. Uh, what are you thinking? I'd rather dance instead of walk. <laughs> It'd just be so much fun. More interesting than walking. You'd be like... Thanks, Scarlett, in the Scarlett dance there. Amazing. Right. It's decision time. Hacker, how do you think my crew voted? Well, I'm going to say that your crew chose to sing, cos singing is more fun than dancing. Yeah. Oh, Hacker, I could listen to you all day, mate. You can. You're allowed to. I couldn't. <laughs> Unbelievable. We've locked in your answer, Hacker. Hacker thinks that my crew would rather sing instead of speak. Lauren, what about yourself? Dancing all the way. I'm going to go with Scarlett's choice as well. We're going to smash this. Lauren there thinks that my crew would rather dance instead of walk. Ooh, two different answers. OK. The results are in. And in today's big vote, seven went for sing instead of talk, but eight would rather dance instead of walk. Congratulations, yes. Lauren. Yes, I am sickened with this show. <laughs> well, that's all we've got time for. And with combined scores of 29 to 21, I can declare that today's winner is... Lauren! Yeah! yeah! I knew it! Typical. <laughs> and obviously, I would rather not leave you. But until next time, it's goodbye from these two. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Goodbye from this lot. Bye. 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 And it's goodbye from me. See ya. We've got 30 seconds to tell you all about the brand new series of The, the Pets Factor. Factor. It's packed with cute bits. Strange bits. I feel like we're missing something. Angry bits. <laughs> Don't get grumpy now. Dramatic bits. You're pregnant, you're going to have lambs. Even Ooh. ferret bits. But the best bit... We're, we're back. back! Sunday at 9.30 on CBBC and BBC iPlayer. It's our turn! <laughs> we're back, Reese. Yeah. Reese bits. It's about time we have a brand new pets fact, so thank goodness for that. <laughs> We've got Summer Camp Island coming up next where Oscar and Hedgehog learn about quicksand that can send you back in time.